I'm here with your weekly terrascope for the week of November the 12th to the 18th of 2018. I'm using the Spirit Keepers Tarot for my weekly terrascopes as well as my daily draws if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Of course, if you want your own um, reading, you can go to my Etsy shop. This month I'm featuring a shadow work reading um, for a low price. So if you're interested in doing some shadow work and looking at some deep issues, that's um, a good spread to work with. There's a there's a video as well if you want to do the spread yourself. So you can check that out. But let's get on with the Tarascope. So starting with Aries, we have the Golden Shield, Power and Authority of Fire. So this could be seen as the Queen of, what's this here, the Golden, Queen of Swords here, I believe. Power and Authority of Fire. I think this is Queen of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Wands. So Good card to get for Aries, that's for sure. It's a time uh, this week to kind of get out there a little bit more, um, a time to really revel in your creativity, to be assertive, to put yourself out there. If you're hosting a party or uh, doing anything artistic or performance or anything, this is a really great card to get. It shows that things will go really well. So don't be afraid to kind of like let yourself shine this week, to put yourself out there, to be assertive this week, um, which I know Aries you generally don't have a problem with. For Taurus, we have the Angel of Mysteries, the angel who illuminated the shadows. So this is, um, I believe the angels are the pages. So this is the page of um, the page of Pentacles in the traditional tarot, the traditional Rider Waite tarot. So um, for this one, I would say, you know, this is a very Taurus card as well. It's kind of funny that Taurus gets an earth card and Aries gets a fire card, but uh, you know, this is a card of going slow and steady. It's the card of the student as well. So, um, you know, if you're doing any studies this week, Taurus, if you're in school at all, or you're learning anything, this is a card that says things will go very well. It's a card about pacing yourself, a card of self-care, one where you have to really um, take some time to care for yourself, and especially on the physical well, uh, level. So caring for your health, caring for your well-being, uh, perhaps saving money. So anything on the physical level, it's saying that you need to really take some time to care for yourself and to slow down this week. For Gemini, we have the Conservator, the Four of Orbs. Um, Gemini, this is a week where you have a lot on your plate. You have a lot going on. You have a lot of things that you need to do. Your plate is really full. Um, you are being successful with things. Um, you know, you, there is a sense that, you know what, you're working hard and you're getting things done. But there's also a sense of like seriousness and a lack of fun in your life right now. So it is saying that you might need to make some room to have a little more fun. And I know, you know, Gemini doesn't like being overly serious. So do make some time for some fun activities. For Cancer, we have the Dark Horse, the Seven of Scepters. So Cancer, you may be feeling this week like you're under attack a little bit or you're having to defend yourself from others. This card can come up when there's someone that is jealous of us or uh, trying to cut us down in some way. It can also come up when there's competition going on that you're involved in. So it's saying that you have the ability to defend yourself this week. And I know, Cancer, you're not really, you more are, you're not an aggressive sign. You're not a sign that, you know, kind of um, gets in people's faces. You're more likely to attack a problem sideways, just like a crab would. So it's saying that, you know, you don't necessarily need to have to confront things head on. Um, if you do, though, don't be afraid to. For Leo, we have the Giver, the Six of Orbs. So generosity this week, Leo. So on two sides, the first is be generous to others. Share your resources, share your teachings, share your knowledge, your time. Um, give of yourself, but also be open to receiving help, receiving gifts from others. Um, and be thankful for all that the universe is giving you this week. For Virgo, we have the Ferryman, the Six of Swords. Um, Virgo, this is a week of slow and steady progress. This is a week of no big dramatic events. If you are traveling, um, this is always a good card to get that shows things will go well. But it's really saying that, you know what, you are making progress. Keep going. Keep going in that direction. You are getting there. For Libra, we have Holy Water, the Ace of Chalices. So um, your heart is really opening up this week, Libra. This is a really great card to get because you're very much a romantic. And it's saying that your heart is opening to emotions and inspiration. We do have Venus moving direct this week, um, the sign, the planet that rules Libra. And she's in the sign of Libra, which she's very happy to be. So there's a sense of, you know, your heart opening, um, things are going well with the relationships. There's a potential for new relationships. This is also a fertility card as well. 
So take precautions if you don't want to be fertile. If you do, this is a great indicator, so referring to that this week. Scorpio, we have a stronghold of the flame, herald of awakening. So this is the knight of, um, I believe this is the knight of wands here with the flame. So um, Scorpio, this is a time to really take action on things, to move forward with things, to take some risks. If you're traveling or you're making a move of some kind, uh, whether you're moving job or you're moving house, this is a card that indicates things will go smoothly in that area. But it's a time to take some action, Scorpio, to take a risk of some kind. For Sagittarius, we have the Convalescent, the Four of Swords. Take some time to rest, Sagittarius. Uh, we do have Jupiter just moved into Sagittarius, its home sign. Um, but it's saying you now is a time to kind of pause and reflect on things, to take some rest. Because if you don't rest um, and take a little time for yourself, your body may force you to with a minor illness, like a cold or a flu or something. But take time, just kind of sit back a bit and reflect on things. Take some time to rest. For Capricorn, we have the hollow void, the four of chalices. Um, when this comes up, we often have a feeling of dissatisfaction, but we can't quite put our finger on what is. Um, this card asks us to step back a bit and look at what is actually working for us and what's not working for us. Um, it tells us not to just throw everything away or throw everything out, that it may be really only one or two things that need an adjustment for us to get back on track. For Aquarius, we have the Demiurge, the Four of Scepters. Aquarius, a good week for you, a week of celebration. If you are going to a celebration of some kind or hosting one, again, this is a good sign. Um, it's time to just really celebrate where you're at and look at your life in um, a really positive way and celebrate all the wonderful things going on around you. So not a week particularly of any actions or any big changes, just a week to appreciate life. And Pisces. Pisces, uh, we have the Wheel of Life, the Sphinx. So Pisces, things are shifting for you and Mars is going into your sign this week. So it's saying that there is uh, a renewed energy. Um, you may feel a sense of just, you know, more, more energy to put towards any particular goals or aspirations that you have. Uh, the Wheel shows that there is some something fateful that's coming for you this week on a positive level because it is right side up. And there's nothing you have to do. It's just like your luck is turning and things are going to start to come your way this week. So overall, this is a really positive week. Uh, most of the cards that we get, you know, they weren't particularly challenging. Um, I think, you know, maybe Sagittarius and Capricorn, a little bit of challenges this week. But for, um, and Cancer as well. But for many of the signs, it's a week of optimism. It's a week of moving forward, a week of making progress. Not necessarily big, giant, dramatic things for many of the signs, but there is a sense of progress and moving forward. So I hope you have a wonderful week. If you have any questions or comments, of course, put them below. Thank you so much for watching. I love reading all the comments and stuff. And as always, peace, love.